Well, there's a new coffee trend out there that I know absolutely diddly squat about, but I know someone who does. Jolene Katzenberger from Eat Drink Indy in the Fisher's Test Kitchen joins us to perk our interest in this. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm, I'm doing fine. Always better when I get to talk to you. I just got to talk to actor Richard Kind, and now I get to talk to you, so none of this feels like a Monday to me right now. What a nice day, right? Yeah, exactly. So t uh, what, what's the history of this drink? So this has been something that has uh, has been sort of has gone kind of viral during this whole quarantine time. Um, so I think I think it really originated with some videos on TikTok. Are you on TikTok? I am not, but my daughter is. <laughs> well, I think if you go on TikTok and and look for Daldona Coffee, you will find lots of recipes of people uh, trying to make this um, this Korean coffee drink. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy. Okay. It just, it, just, it just takes some time so you can either, you know, use a, a whisk and like whisk like mad. <laughs> or you can use a, a hand mixer, which is what I have today. And it, because you need to whip it like hundreds of times, is that the point? Hundreds of times, although with a mixer, it's only a couple of minutes. Okay, all right, that's better. <laughs> so there is um, not much to it. So you have your instant coffee, you know, okay. your crystals here. Mm -hmm. So you have uh, two tablespoons of instant coffee, uh, two tablespoons of sugar, just regular sugar. Um, and you, you know, I kind of whisk that together a little bit so that you can see that it's, um, you know, mixed together. These are just, you know, the, the crystals, the instant coffee crystals, like, like you see on the commercials. And then two tablespoons of water. Uh, a lot of the recipes call for hot water. It doesn't have to be, I have found. So uh, so now, see, I, I could start whisking and whisking and whisking and whisking the 400,000 times or whatever I'm supposed to do. Or I could use my mixer. So I'll use this for just for a few minutes, so you, a little bit, so you can see what it starts to do. Mm -hmm. And the, the whisking get, turns it into a certain color, and that's kind of where it gets its name? It does. It gets its name from, the, from a candy that's also called the Daldona candy, kind of okay. like a toffee, peanut brittle sort of looking uh, candy. Could you um, hold it up for us? I can. So okay. it starts to turn this color. I don't know oh, if wow. you can see yeah. it. It starts to turn this light color, and it's starting to get thick. And if I whisked for about another minute or so, it would get really thick. Mm. Um, I'm not sure you want to hear me whisk for another minute. <laughs> I, I, for one, love the sound of power tools, but that's me. So here's what it will look like once oh, it's wow. done. And again, coffee, sugar, and water. And so then the idea is you just take a, a nice little dollop of that and put it on top of a glass of ice milk. Oh, okay. Milk with ice in it. Sure. You know? And... And then you have your lovely Dalgona coffee drink. So. There you go. Okay. So there it is. Well, and, um, I, was I, I was listening to NPR over the weekend, and they're talking about as much as we're do with the distancing, as much as we're missing friends and family, it's some of the casual encounters that we are sort of we're taking for granted that we're also missing too. And one of the examples they said was that guy, that barista that gets you your drink every day. You don't know his name, I or maybe know. you do. It's those casual encounters that we're missing. So, I know. So, so this kind of gives you, a, you know, a little, a little fun little thing to make, a nice little coffee drink. Although I will point out that you don't really want to eat it just, just the, just okay. the whipped up coffee. Okay. Right. <laughs> you do want to mix it into your milk. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Appreciate because incorporate it's a little that. on the bitter side. Um, so uh, we just spoke with one of your co-conspirators not too long ago, Susan Decker. You guys are working on something. We are. So you know, you know that I love community cookbooks. Yes, I do. Right, and, you know, because I, I think they have terrific recipes. What people are really making, what they really like, what they take to pitch-ins, what they bring to friends. 
And so right now, so many people are at home. Mm -hmm. um, and so I thought, wouldn't it be a nice thing for the food community to contribute to a community cookbook um, for charity? So I'm, so I'm asking um, people, anyone can submit a recipe, and I'm hoping you will submit a recipe mm. uh, <laughs> for this uh, Eat, Drink, Indie community cookbook. Um, once we get some recipes, we will create an ebook. Um, it'll be downloadable. People can buy that. And the proceeds will go to a new foundation called the Equilibre Foundation. Um, a lot of people, people in the food community, like Neil Brown, um, who is uh, behind this, saw a need for ongoing wellness help for the local food community. Mm. I mean, you can understand how um, the food community has been hit very hard right now. And uh, even as, as we start to think about uh, restaurants uh, reopening down the road a ways, I think there's going to be a lot of people who are going to still um, really appreciate yeah. some wellness help, financial help, um, uh, all sorts of things. So that's what the funds will go to. Well, I will go and I will call my mother later today and I will dig up my Grandma Leola's Blue Ribbon winning asparagus bread recipe that she oh won at the Walkerville Pioneer Days. Oh my goodness, I would love that. I would love that. So I would love anyone to submit a recipe. They can go to eatdrinkindy.com and the link is right there. Um, and so please submit a recipe. We will create this lovely local food community cookbook. That'll be awesome. Helping a lot of people that need it. Thank you so much for the recipe and the insight. We'll of course put that link on indiestyle.tv. Thank you. I will have my coffee. You have your coffee. You and your husband stay safe. Thanks so much. Thank you.